What's up guys, welcome to today's lesson and today I want to talk about something that gets pretty overlooked in my opinion. Uh, you're probably not even aware you're even doing it, but that's not your fault at all. You just lack the proper information, but that's what I'm here for. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So go ahead, grab your guitar, tune up and let's jump right into this. All right guys, so I want to talk about something called intentional note value or duration and this is super, super important. When you listen to your favorite guitar players play, and you watch them play, things look very, very smooth. Their lines come out very clear and concise. You can hear every single note. And the reason being is because those players are giving the notes their full value. So here's kind of an example of what you want to avoid. This is gonna be a little over-exaggerated, but this is what you don't want to do. So again, that's a pretty over-exaggerated example there but here's what you want to do instead. You want to make sure you're giving those notes their full value, which is no space in between them at all. You want to think long, smooth, and connected here, okay? So here's an example of what that looks and sounds like. And you can hear a very distinct difference in that, and that is what separates the pros from the intermediate guitar players really just making sure each note has its full value and duration okay so another thing that's going to be really tricky about this is string changes especially so when you're switching from your pinky for example on the low e string to the first finger on the a string and so on so that looks like this you really want to focus on that change there between the strings <laughs> So the other really important thing to note here is rhythm. So what's going to really uh, excel your playing here is don't think about how many notes per string you're playing here. Don't be thinking one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. You want to think about this in terms of rhythm. So if these were 16th notes or even 8th notes, um, you want to be thinking one and two and three and or one E and a two E and a three E and a... Okay, so you really, really want to focus on that. So here's an example of how that should look and feel as well. One and two and three and four and, right? One and two and three and four. If we're doing 16th notes, one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. That's going to get you out of this kind of broken up mindset. And it's really, really going to help smooth out your playing, okay? So again, this is really what separates the pros from the intermediate guitar players. So what I would suggest doing here is take whatever you're working on, scales or arpeggios, and just work them up and down and really focus on making sure your notes are long, smooth, and connected, okay? So I wouldn't really necessarily put a time limit on this. You could even do this while you're watching TV, throw on your favorite TV show. Set your metronome to maybe 80 or 90 beats per minute and just go up and down, up and down, really focusing on making sure there's no space between those notes. All right, real simple concept here. It's not a long video today. Just something, uh, something to really think about that should help you get to a more advanced level that you're probably looking for, all right? So that example, I was using a lot of legato there, but this concept also applies to your picking hand as well. So when you're picking notes as well, you want to make sure that you're not picking prematurely or too late. You want to make sure that each pick is getting its full duration as well. So again, that's going to look and sound like this. Again, we want to make sure that we're not prematurely picking. So that would be if, for example, you fret and then your pick crosses the string like a millisecond after you already fretted the nose. So it'd be something kind of like this. You want to kind of avoid that. Same thing on your upstrokes, right? It's hard to even do once you kind of get this under your fingers. Um, but yeah, like I said, you want to make sure that you're really focusing on giving your notes the full duration in both hands. So 
So yeah, that's it guys. I know a real short video today, but it's a really simple concept. Like I said, you probably aren't even aware that you're doing it, but it doesn't take much practice. Just kind of work on it a little bit and just try to be really conscious of that and all the things that you're working on. You don't have to just do this with scales and arpeggios. I encourage you to do this with the music that you're learning as well. If there's a lick you're trying to get under your fingers or you're learning a song, just make sure you're giving the notes their full, uh, their full duration. Really listen to whatever you're transcribing and really pay attention to how much value that guitar player is giving their notes and truly really try to emulate that as best as you can and i think you're going to get some really good results all right so if you guys aren't subscribed to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe like follow all that jazz as it goes a long way in helping me create these videos for you guys but other than that that's all i got for you and i'll see you guys in the next one